What's up guys, it's me Lucky B, and something that I absolutely love is a good old assassination. Of course the kind of assassinations I'm referring to are the ones done in game and in Halo. Rather than going for the beat down, you decide, you know what, I'm going to start on them and I'm going to get an assassination on them. So, you know what I was thinking? Halo 5 added tons and tons of assassinations and Halo Infinite is right around the corner, so what would be some good assassination ideas which we haven't had and could be added into Halo Infinite? So for this next we'll be coming up with and trying to show some new assassination ideas, five of which will be standard, one will be for the gravity hammer, and the final one will be for the energy sword. And let's get into today's video. So starting off this list, we're going to start with an assassination which I think is kind of tame, very stompy kind of feeling, because in Halo 5 there was a lot of stomping assassinations, and maybe 303 has a foot fetish, so maybe this assassination will be added. The custom name for this assassination will probably be the catwalk, or something along those lines, and it's actually based from Soul Calibur and a character in that called Astaroth. Now Astaroth is one of the main grapplers in Soul Calibur, and for anybody who knows me, you'll actually know that I absolutely love Soul Calibur as a game. This move in the game is called Death Crush, and it's actually the alternate version of Astaroth's back throw. So what we're going to do is we're going to get some bougie Spartans, and we're going to actually put them into Soul Calibur and see what this move is all about. So as you guys can see, this is a very simple assassination, and it is one which could actually work in Halo 5 quite easily. It is three simple steps, one to the back of the knee, one to the lower back, and then one to the back of the head. And I think with the stomping assassinations that we've seen in Halo 5, the catwalk could work, and you know what? It's also very stylish. It has that power play, it has that walking over your enemy's feel, and you know what? It does have personality to it. So I'd love to see this, I'd love to be able to dominate enemies with this, and who knows? People from the industries might have that foot fetish I mentioned, so they might add this assassination. Now who knows, 343 might get a little bit angry about that, they might actually have some retaliation, which is coincidentally the name of this next assassination. So Call of Duty, I know, weird transition, Call of Duty didn't really have the best assassination attempts, they really tried to replicate what Halo had, but it was really mundane, it didn't really suit what you could do in Halo, and it didn't have that styling factor which many people wanted, apart from Captain Price, that was a really, really cool assassination. But it was actually one of the characters who was on the Russian team who had a really cool assassination which I thought could be quite cool. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to play it on screen and let me know what you think. Kill confirmed. Finished. So as you would have just seen, this assassination is very simple, but you know what? It is effective. Having one Spartan turn around and issue a punch only for that punch to do no damage whatsoever, and for the other Spartan to just headbutt you to the ground and that would be the assassination, damn, you do not want to mess with that Spartan after custom games. It has so much strength to it, so much power. It is just such a power move, this assassination, and it would probably only be common or uncommon in rarity, but you know what? It would be so awesome to see, and damn, it really shows that that one Spartan is not somebody you want to mess with after the war games are over. Now if you want assassination which still makes that statement, it's still powerful but it's definitely going to be higher in rarity, then you're going to be looking for the Texas City Slam. Now what is the Texas City Slam? Well to put it simple, it is actually inspired by Agent Texas and it is a suplex. Now I have to say that Agent Texas is a bit of a badass and Monty Oon from Rooster Teeth and I have to pay tribute to him, he was gone too soon, he's still absolutely fantastic and animated things like Red vs Blue, all those amazing fights which you used to see. I think we have to pay tribute to him so we have to mention Texas, one of the characters which he animated. We also have to mention the WWE because they've got that Suplex City thing going on and I think if we combine Texas and Suplex City we can get the Texas City Slam. So let's actually see that on screen, some amazing animations from Monty Oom, let's actually see what it would look like. So yeah guys, I think this would be kind of similar to the Lawn Dart, although however just from grabbing them from behind and just flip them over, you would grab them, spin them around and then just flip them with the momentum of moving forwards. I think this kind of suplex would flow really well, just grabbing them, spinning them around and getting that slam, it would be very quick, it would definitely be legendary, and come on, Agent Texas, she's a bit of a badass, I know that there's a lot of people who would want to recreate that. Honestly, suplexes to me are just really cool to see, and you know what else is pretty cool? MC Hammer, at least he was in the 1990s, I know, amazing transition. So you know what, we're going to go into the Hammer assassination. We're going to be going back to Soul Calibur and we're actually going to be looking at one of Astaroth's throws. Now the official name for this throw is actually the beatdown. It is Astaroth's left side throw so he has to be on the left face of his opponent to be able to get this. However, I actually don't want to call it the beatdown, I want to call it the double tap and you'll see in a moment why. Let's actually go to our OG Spartan and see how he would perform the double tap. Now technically there aren't any gravity hammers in Soul Calibur, however he's been able to find the best replacement with this massive wooden hammer so let's see how he does it. Come on. 
So as you can see, this is a very simple assassination again. A quick smack to the back of the head and then followed up by a massive slam with that hammer. I think this would be a really cool one to see and it actually brings up the idea of customizing weapon assassinations. I mean, hey, assassinating with a sword is pretty cool, but you can only do it so many times. So let's actually make some different assassinations with a sword. Let's make some different assassinations with a gravity hammer because there is so much potential and I think that that could actually really help with people who want to specialize in a certain weapon. I mean, thinking about it, we don't actually have to limit it just to the energy sword or the gravity hammer. We could actually make it so it was something like for the shotgun, so you hit them with the butt of the shotgun or even shoot them with it. Even with a pistol, just like coming in like Captain Price and getting that headshot on the person, just like coming in out of frame. Something like that would be really cool, and it's definitely a hope and dream I've got for assassinations in the future, but it's unlikely to happen in Halo Infinite. I think having custom weapon assassinations would be really cool and would add so much style to it and so much personality for Spartans who want to have a signature weapon. Like, for example, I love the battle rifle and I love the sword so having some cool sword assassinations which are individual to myself would be really nice to see add some more personality but who knows it's unlikely to happen we can only have some ideas which we'd love to see and kind of talk about them in this video and actually thinking about it one of the games we used to talk about way back when was Friday the 13th the game now this was a game which had so many creative kills which used things like the environment around it and this got me thinking why don't we actually use an energy sword as part of the environment so this next assassination is going to be called the buzz it is kind of inspired by Mortal Kombat and Friday the 13th to show you what this assassination would look like we're gonna have to go to Mortal Kombat and for the character Kung Lao. Now I can't actually show too much of it because of YouTube's guidelines however I think you'll be able to get the picture. <laughs> So as you guys can kind of imagine, this is probably the most brutal assassination that you could have. Sticking the energy sword into the ground with the enemy who's on the floor, grabbing their legs and pulling them into the sword, just splicing them into, but not going all the way. Honestly, I don't think we could be able to do that in Halo with them actually splitting open, because that would be way too brutal. So you wouldn't actually send them split into them, it would just go through them and then pull the sword out, similar to how you would normally do a sword strike. It'd be pretty simple in that regard, and also I think that this would be quite cool to see. So I think this would kind of be at home with the brutal of a sword assassination. Now of course that assassination really came out of nowhere and you would not want to have that happen to you. However this next assassination is actually called Out of Nowhere. So this is based on the RKO, something which was being popularized in gaming and meme culture. So I think that we should actually add it into an assassination. Simply put, the RKO is out of nowhere, you run up behind the enemy, you do the RKO and we might actually make it so you slip in a knife so that they are landing headfirst into the knife so it is a little bit more deadly. Who knows, but let's actually see some footage of the RKO. Uh -oh. RKO. So as you can see, this is just a classic move and I think it would really fit in with Halo. It's a really, really quick one, so it would probably be high in rarity if they still had those things. However, I can see this assassination having some real flow to it. It could have some real potential. And you know what? It would be really funny to see someone just literally come out of nowhere and get that assassination. That would be absolutely amazing. And free for free, you need to make it happen. I really believe assassinations which happen out of nowhere are so amazing. And you know what else? The Falcon, the next assassination on this list, really is based on something which happens out of nowhere and is always hype when it happens. So of course this assassination is based on the Falcon Punch and also something which you can do in Destiny. Uh, so there's a cool thing for Destiny, congratulations. Um, <laughs> I don't give praise to Destiny that much but this assassination is absolutely fantastic and you know what, we have to show it. So this assassination would be a little bit more difficult to explain, but the way that it would work is basically you pull out a plasma grenade, you turn around your enemy, and you punch them in the chest, and as you punch them in the chest, the plasma grenade explodes. Your arm is inside the enemy's armor, so your arm is fine, you shake it off with a little bit of a burn on it, a little bit of tingling, but that enemy goes absolutely flying, similar to the kickoff assassination which you used to have in Halo 5. I think that this would be so cool to have, and it would have to be mythic. This would have to be legendary mythic levels of assassination, and you know what having a falcon punch would be absolutely awesome i know so many people would love to see this it's similar to supernova in the fact that they can use a plasma grenade as a weapon and you know what i would love to use the falcon punch and with that said and done guys, that's the final 7th assassination which I would love to see added in Halo Infinite. I really do hope at least a few of these assassinations get added. However, with the way that FIFA 3, 3 Industries intend on supporting Halo Infinite for 8 years, anything is possible. So make sure you leave a like, you leave a comment down below, because that's going to increase the likelihood that FIFA 3, 3 or anybody could see this video and actually share it around. Thank you guys for watching, maybe you agree with my list, and what other assassinations would you like to see added? Leave a comment down below for that. 
And who knows, I might make a part two to this because there are some amazing assassinations which I haven't even touched on. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Peace out.